come in with an idea for an object, whether it's a replacement part or a toy or whatever you want, and we can use this technology to make it. Dan Riley uses 3D printers to make things. If you're not familiar with the concept, think of a 3D printer as a cross between a hot glue gun and an inkjet printer that precisely lays down whatever material you're working with to make the object. So you might be wondering why we've stopped for ice cream in the middle of this story. Well, it's because Dan says anything can be food for a 3D printer, be it wood, carbon fiber, or these plastic spoons. Let's see, we've got wood, sandstone, we've got a partnership with Ben & Jerry's where we uh, harvest all their spoons and grind them up and make them into stuff. In a few months, Riley wants to kick it up a notch, possibly entering the realm of mechanics. In the spring, we'll start making stuff out of metal. Um, we'll be expanding into circuitry, all that kind of stuff. I was kicking around the idea of um, partnering with one of the chocolate companies around here to see if I can start printing in chocolate. That's just food for thought right now. The stuff he makes can come from a design that's been put into the computer or from a scan. So if you break something around the house, you can bring in the broken part and I'll make a new one for you. Let me take a look. Most of his business comes from people just walking by, stopping to see if he can make something. We could do it out of rubber. Or an object based on a new design. All of my prototyping customers, they were sourcing out to China, New York, San Francisco, but now they source right here. Dan says his favorite things to make are objects that people can't easily find that help them with a beloved hobby or restoration. Looking for a part that was patented in, you know, 17 whatever, and then we're able to actually resurrect it just from the patent. Of course, not everything he makes is that serious. We can take a 3D scan of someone's head and put it onto an action figure. Hmm. Notice it? Yep. Obviously, get a big smile. The machine does not work if you're not smiling. Only takes about 10, 15 seconds to do a scan. Pretty good. So there's the head. There you go. Now we can print this off. Maybe not such a good idea. But he says there are lots of other good ideas. And he says helping make them a concrete reality, or plastic, or carbon fiber, or maybe even chocolate at some point, is what he loves most about his job. The sheer variety of things, it makes it so worthwhile.